tuning in. This is a slightly serious, uh, slightly whatever tone to it, but it's uh, it's got nothing to do with sports. So if you're not interested in sports, click off. If you're not interested in free speech, click off. Uh, this whole video is it's about free speech, and that's why I'm doing this because um, you know Smash Mouth Sports is Smash Mouth. It's in your face. It's not. You know, th that's why I designed this channel. I'm a big sports fan, but I do also believe in free speech. And I feel like, um, you know, you could say whatever you want to say. You know, it, of course, I believe in being respectful. But because we're out there in the public eye now and the media and so forth, we're going to say things that are going to be maybe crass or slightly offensive. Or that, that's not the goal. The goal is to, to be free speech, to have free speech. Our founding fathers. Let me help everybody out here. The Constitution of the United States, the first amendment of the United States Constitution. Congress shall have no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging, or bri I can't even say it, abridging the freedom of speech or the freedom of press or the right of the people to peaceably assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. I want to say this last part again. The key word is peaceably assemble. Are you with me, Cam? Yes. Because I, I'm saying this, this has nothing to do with sports. It has to do with free speech. It also, <clears throat> it's also explaining what free speech is. You can be... Religious, okay, so in, in America, it's bothering me because of COVID, because of where we've gone, many religious institutions, you're not allowed to go to church, you're not allowed to do this because of COVID, okay? Correct. I'm all for protecting the people, okay? But the government in many areas have overstepped their boundaries, in my opinion. This is my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. Kim, you don't have to agree. The people watching, if, if 10 million people watch this video, none of them have to agree. I'm simply stating the Constitution says you can worship religion, you can, any religion, okay? You can, you can say whatever you want to say, okay? Pretty much within reason. We, we understand fire in a building and there's a couple little things that you can't, you know, you can't incite a violence and a riot and so forth. But you can have the point is that, that we've gone to now. And it's it's I've noticed, especially in these last two weeks with the donkey of the day and the donkey of the year segments, I, I'm noticing too many multi-million dollar broadcasters with a microphone, too many of them, way too comfortable saying very incendiary things against America, against the very backbone, which is what makes America great. What, what makes America great is the no, fact that they can say that. It's not Donald Trump. It's not Joe Biden. That's not what makes America great. What makes America great is a microphone. You can say whatever you want to say in America. It's the fact they can say that. That's what makes America great. They can say the, the anti-stuff. Yes. Right. You can say these things. What's what bothers a lot of people and why I, I'm doing this video is we we should be we look, I want to get back to if somebody. The, the point is, if we slip up, OK, if you slip up, I got no problem apologizing. If you slip up or say the wrong thing and people are genuinely hurt by their comments. What bothered me is the hypocrisy specifically of this mainstream media that thinks it's perfectly OK. So we agree with this group, so this group can do whatever they want to. Well, we don't agree with this group because this group uh, has dogs, likes to hunt, likes to fish, you know, salutes the flag, loves America, fights for this country. That's what it's about. Okay, that, that's what it's about. Okay, if you want to be a latte liberal and you want to get your $9 coffee and you want to get your $9, you know, croissant for breakfast or your vegan meal, great, get your vegan meal. But don't criticize hardworking, everyday people because they bleed red, white, and blue. The, the people that are the fabric of this country are the hunters, the fishermen, the people that work for a living. Not people with a microphone. Not people that are movie sets. I see Tom Cruise again. I love Tom Cruise, the actor. I don't want to say I hate Tom Cruise, the person, because that's too strong of a word. But I strongly dislike Tom Cruise, the person. This is the second day in a row where Tom Cruise, 
high-level Tom Cruise, billion-dollar Tom Cruise, has big time his whole staff and threatened to fire his whole staff because they didn't do everything perfectly that he wanted them to do. So, Cam, what, what are your thoughts on that? No, I just, I mean, the freedom of speech is the First Amendment for a reason. Because when you silence freedom of speech, that's how fascism starts. It's as simple as that. All I could think about all day was I've got a great business opportunity. But this is a great business opportunity. I have another great business opportunity. And all I could think about all day is I want to speak my truth. I want to speak my opinion. But I'm concerned because it's a very good opportunity for you me. You shouldn't and, have to fear about and, losing your job and, because and of my, your opinion. I don't care about the heat. I don't care. I don't care if this video gets 100,000 dislikes and no likes. I could care less. Okay. Some videos you do, you want more likes than others. Um, this is not one of those videos. Uh, my only concern is a livelihood. That, that, that's the problem that a lot of people are concerned with middle America. Okay. Is they've become the forgotten man and woman, the middle America, the everyday people that go to work. They just want to go. They want to go to work. Okay. Eight to five, eight to six, go to the factory, make their hunt money, fish, their family. make their money, come home to their family, take little Mary and Johnny to little league and dance class and have enough money at the end of the day. Okay, and take him to Disney, take him here, take him there. That, that's what it's about. And, and it's just, it's become gross. Specifically, when I see people that work for ESPN that are Harvard educated, some of them were born in other countries, and some of these people are benefiting from the same system that they hate. It's, it's just a gross hypocrisy. Just be grateful. I know. There's no gratefulness anymore. None. Now, you don't have to get into this if you don't want to. You work in retail. I'm not going to say which grocery store. You work in a grocery store, an essential worker, correct? Is that fa is this yes. fair to say? Yep, I've worked you, through the you, whole pandemic. Correct. You've worked through the whole pandemic. The whole correct. time. Since yep. March, the whole time. Okay. okay. Over time. And then some. Okay, you worked harder than ever before. And it's a real concern. Okay, so for those that have office jobs or whatever else, you know, like me and other people, you you got more flexibility working from home. You've been in, in there every, you know, you're not, you're not a nurse or a doctor, but you've been in there giving people their food and on so on and so forth, correct? Correct. All it is is about appreciation. That's that's all it's about. It, no, nobody is appreciates anything anymore, uh, man. It, it, it's sad. The state of the affairs in this country is sad that we can't be it's it, it's just sad it, it, it's really sad that we just can't approve this is the greatest country on earth and are yep. we are we perfect no no we're not nobody's perfect nothing's perfect no we have our flaws absolutely but there's nothing wrong with being patriotic american america is the greatest country on earth no matter who the president is that doesn't change nothing will ever change that it, it doesn't matter it's not about the president Do you ever hear about the danish dream do you ever hear about the Swedish dream no. or the English dream or the Canadian dream or the Russian dream? No, it's the American dream. You're right. And by the way, I want to say this. I'm glad you brought this up. Uh, I was only going to make this a four-minute video, but we're going over when that's fine. Do you, Canada, every, all the, the liberals and all the Hollywood people, every, they, every four years, if Trump wins, if this guy wins, whoever wins, if they don't like, we're going to go to Canada. Canada has the strictest rules to get to Canada because Canada's got all this social, everything's free. Canada has the strictest rules. To, they don't take the poor. That that is a mis. They they only take very healthy, very affluent people into Canada. They don't take the average people like we do here. You can come to America from other countries, build a business from the ground up. That's what makes it great. It's not perfect. No country's perfect. Okay. The American dream is small business. That's yes, the, yes, that's what the yes. American dream is. Yes. If you if you're small business, starting a podcast, opening up a convenience store, open up a little grocery store, growing a little grocery store with you and your three or four family members, and then hopefully you grow that in a 10, 15, 20, 50 store, 50 a person place. That's what it's about. It, it, it's just become gross. Like, you know, when I just see Tom Cruise losing his mind and this and this and governors, the problem is too, too many governors have overstepped their boundaries are, are, are grossly overstepping their boundaries. Look, and, and I did this video. We're at a serious time in America. I'm doing better than most. We're in a serious, serious time where if you're a bartender, if you're in retail, if you're in certain industries, you might have made a good living. You might have made you might have made two hundred, two hundred fifty dollars in cash or more a night and made a pretty good living as a worker, a person. And these industries have been ravaged because governors have gone roughshod. It's insane. And they're arresting people, gym owners. I know a guy. 
um, you know, that I work with, he had a he had a gym. Okay, he owned an actual gym in Pinellas County. Gym shut down. What are you gonna do? Guy makes a good living for ten years owning a gym. Gym shut down. He can't go to a gym. It's just it, it's sad. And and look, by no means am I telling you that COVID is a laughing matter. It's not. It's a serious matter. We've all seen it on the it's front serious. line. It's serious. I agree. It's serious. But if I don't it, put a, if I if I people's right to make a living, right, and I that's agree. what they're doing. I agree. I agree. You're 100 percent right. So, you know, you're you're supposed to say like and subscribe. You know, honestly, I really this video. You know, it doesn't matter. Like, subscribe. Don't like, subscribe. Doesn't really matter. The the, the most important thing is I just want people to view this because uh, it's it's rough. It, people, it, we we have got to to rein it in. And I'm not talking about me and you. I'm talking about the country. The country. So, thanks again. Appreciate mm -hmm. it.